Hi guys, welcome back to FM24 Grassroots to Glory with Hornchurch FC. Now, we're currently in midway through the season. Media prediction is now 7th. We are currently in 10th. You can see my win ratio there at 49%. Ideally, I would like that to be better, but I've played seven. I've been involved in 71 games, which ain't too bad. Current balance is 145k. This season we've spent 513k. And we have a wage budget just under 13k. The team history down below, you can see the ups and downs there of Hornchurch, and we're on the rise. That's the main thing. Obviously, in the uh, in the middle there we haven't got a lot of stars for facilities and everything and we've got insecure finances because we are now getting cash injections because we are doing so well and we are spending a lot more which was something i need to sort out come the pre-season also the kits there now this is a big question and please leave your comments down below as of next season we will be going back to the red and white. Now, the question is, is would you like to see quarters again? Would you like to see stripes again? Or would you like to see half and half kits? Leave your comments down below. I'd like to gauge what's going on before I customize some new Hornchurch FC kits. As I said before, we currently sit in 10th place after 15 games. Seven wins, three draws, five losses. We've got a busy period coming up, the Christmas period, and it is going to be key this season. The question is, is how well can we do to what we have been involved in? As you can see there, we've just had a 1-1 draw with Bore and Wood, who sit in the playoffs. So form is getting better. Bad start of the season. Mid-table-ish, hopefully by Christmas. And then maybe an outside place at a playoff. Who knows? But let's see what we can do next in today's game. First up is an away game at Welling. Now the question is, is what can we do to change our form around here at Hornchurch? And of course, Welling are looking to hit us early on the attack, playing the ball down the left and then back again through the midfield with a long shot just narrowly going over the bar. Throw in here by Cox into Femi. Femi driving it around. Plays the ball over the top, looking for Nash, but he can't get on the end of it. Picked up by the keeper. Keeper's looking to go somewhere long with this kick as it goes, and it comes straight back, but it's picked up in the midfield by the Welling midfielder, who strikes it, and Terry pulls off a great save. Narrowed the gap, Schmeichel-esque, and saves a goal-scoring opportunity. Corner comes in and it is cleared straight away. Free kick here with Nash. Nash looking to go round the wall and he nearly puts it in but comes off the crossbar and out. Welling on the attack now. Plays it across. Playing around the 18-yard box. Goes in low but it's broken here. Beckham. Beckham to Beresford. Ball over the top. Terry clears up as a sweeper keeper. Goes out to Vassal. Vassal then hits long, looking for Femi. Nash has gone off injured. I will let you know that, and we need to know the outcome of it. But Beckham skips past his man, goes in low. Moreno, and there it is. It's Louis Dunn. Louis Dunn has made it 1-0 to Hornchurch. Fantastic little interplay there by Beckham to get that ball across. Here comes an immediate attack by Welling. Coming back to the left back. It's in the middle. They've driven them low and it's beaten Terry at his near post. It is 1 1 just before the break. How unlucky is that? 
for Mason Terry. Second half action now. Ball goes over the top, but there's no one to pick up for Wellin. Adams drives it in low. Beresford. Oh, one touch. Right foot. Bends into the corner of the net. Cracking finish by Beresford. He's been a shining light when he's come on, the young striker. He comes Welling again, trying to go back to 2-2. Two -two. But it's been cleared this time. Williams gets the ball across. And they have pulled it back. A bit of a defensive mix-up there by Vassell. Getting the ball stuck underneath his foot. And the striker was able to come in and put it in the net. Coming down the left-hand side. Done. Trying to do something. Brings into Beresford. Beresford. What can he do? Done. Across. Remy. And it's in. No. It's Rio. Rio's got his head to it. He's made that 3-2. And that is the end of the game. Done. Beresford and Rio getting on the score sheet. Now another away game against Tombridge. And with interesting team changes now, we're starting to rotate the team a little bit more. We need to try and keep a consistency with a backbone. And I'm finally getting it. But Tombridge on the attack early nearly puts it into the top corner. Tombridge going well. They're again sitting mid-table towards the top. Looking for a playoff place, so they know they've got something about them. But they're zipping this ball around, and they've broken free down the left, and they have made it 1-0. Hornchurch, playing in red today, are down by a goal. Question is, what can we do to get back into it? And he's given a penalty, a foul on Vassell from Clements Pro. The main man, Liam Nash, stepping up. He's missed his last one. Can he do it this time? He can. Left footed into the left hand side. Makes it 1 1. Question is, what can we do now? To, can we go and drive for the victory? Beckham. Beckham with a cross. And he's fumbled and it's in. It's Beresford again. He's got his noggin on that one and it's put it 2 1. Cracking little comeback now from 1 0 down. But Tombridge. I never say die, they are going to come back, but they lose it in the Hornchurch area, and that is a wasted ball. Wasted. Something we've got to look at is the long balls across goal, and it's ping-ponged around our area, but it's cleared. Nash. Nash looking for Peaks. Peaks going down that left-hand side. Balls across Nash. Oh, you would have backed him to bank that in, but it's finished 2-1. And there you go, two away games, two victories, two hard-fought victories, I will say. As we look at the schedule now, going in to Christmas. So November was the Liam Nash show. Five goals against Maidstone in a 6-4 victory. Enfield, 1-0, Moreno, Salisbury, another win. Adams and Nash again. Then... An away game against Melsham, which we won 2 0. You've just seen it, the Welling game, 3 2 victory. And then a 6 1 victory against Weymouth. Fair, Beresford with a hat trick. Hoblin and Peaks getting on there. Cambridge, uh, Chelmsford, sorry to say. Beresford, Nash, Saunders, and Adams in the 94th minute saw a 4 3 victory there. Farnborough then in the cup, 2-2. Two -two. In the replay, 3 all. I believe we went through on penalties. No, the Farnborough league game, which ended up 3-3, three -three, that was. So 2-2 two -two on penalties in the league, in the cup, we went through. Then 3-3 three -three in the league. You've just seen it, Tombridge, 2-1 victory there. Bath City, up high flying. They all were... Our first team of the season, we've just then beat them 5-1. We've got retribution back from the first game of the season. We closed the year against Western Supermare with a 2-0 defeat. Look at that. January has started brilliantly. 3-2 against Torquay. A 3-1 victory against Mainhead. 
2 0 against Hemel Hempstead and Kirsch's Aston Ashton was a 4 1 victory. And with that fine form, we have really changed our season completely. We are now up to third, only two points away from Yeovil in second place and nine points behind Torquay at the top, who would probably you would put everyone's favourites to win the league. So going from 10th to 3rd is amazing. Liam Nash, there, second goal, second in average, but he's the top goal scorer. But sad news, we have lost him through injury, will not be back till early March. Romeo Beckham, there on 12 assists as well. This team is becoming a unit. They're becoming a force to reckon with. The question is, the last push, the end of season run, is going to be hard. And first up is Dartford. So join me next week as we try and push for the league. Guys, thank you for watching. My name's been Route 1 FM. And no matter what you call it, football, soccer, football, just remember, we all love the game.